cow pair in, in Hamilton, Texas is something unbelievable. You know, you have tons of sponsors that come in and 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 help out. Joe and Kenny, they, they've done a wonderful job at putting everything together. We've always wanted to have some kind of an equestrian affiliated uh, church camp, but never really could figure out how we wanted to do it. And since then, the three of us have gotten together and we put together one of the first camps, which is the team roping last year, and it was turned out to be very successful. And because of it, this one that we have just done just now has been just as successful. We're a nonprofit organization. We're not a ministry. There's none of us qualified to be preachers. Do. We had Dennis Aaron and we had Ray Perriman, who are our uh, ministers for our camp. This is something you know that I'd sure like to be a part of, because um, nobody's doing it to make money. It's it's for a good cause, you know, and and help these young guys out. And, it's been first class. First the whole class. Thing. Everything I mean, has been first class. You know, from the place from we the, stay in, the meals. It's all been something special. Tough day at Bull School. I heard about the camp from uh, going around bulls there in Stephenville at Gilbert's place and got a flyer and kind of came out there and fought bulls and all that and he told us about this school and asked if we were interested in all that kind of stuff and. Uh, we both said, yeah, we'd like to go to it if we can get in it, and sure enough, lo and behold, we got a call and we were in it. I came here to uh, meet Mike White and Chris Shivers and uh, the bull ride and ride some bulls and just learn. Mike White is a PRCA world champion, uh, world champion bull rider. Uh, Chris Shivers, two-time PBR world champion. Shorty Gorman is probably one of the top bullfighters in the world and spokesperson for the bullfighting of PBR. Uh, those three guys are probably the top three people going down the road today in the PPR as far as visibility to the kids. They all gravitate to those guys because of who they are and what they are. Shorty Gorman is a great bullfighter. I love watching him on TV. You know, uh, my dream is to fight with him someday, and I've learned a lot from him this week. I've learned a lot about my free arm because I was taking it out a lot, and I make small movements is a lot better than chunking around. Part of the basics, you know, we both believe that you got to get up over your rope, take the power away from a bull, and have control of your upper part of the body. Mike and Chris, they've taught me a lot of stuff that I didn't know out here. I mean, gave me a huge amount of information about riding bulls and gave me some good pointers, good tips that I've been using out here and trying to put to work. You don't want them to bounce up. If you sit up square, if you sit up straight, you on how we learn and what, what helps us the most. And if they can take any of that advice and move on in the future, you know, it's, it's, it, it helps out at these Right-handed, right drop your bells on the left. If you're left-handed, drop your bells on the right, okay? And you get it on there. Been kind of teaching these guys, you know, when a, when a bull's turning uh, counterclockwise, we like to work counterclockwise if at all possible. Uh, same the other way, you know, and and um, kind of positioning on, on where to be to, to make it safest for everybody when the cowboy's down. To him, you can't drop to a knee. For Shorty to sit there and chew my butt and all that kind of stuff and say, hey, look, you're doing this wrong, you need to do this, was great because I really needed that. Don't go to that defense, I'm telling you. I learned a real lot not to go to the fence. It kind of built my confidence up, stuff that I was missing that I should have known in the, in the beginning. Because you like to get on that arm a little bit. Let them jerk them. Going around that corner like that, we all try to go too fast, and it puts you too wide. If you just slow down. Uh, like I say, there's a lot of little little tricks that we're working on here that we don't get to work on at a lot of schools. I'm just not getting that my feet in. Yep. He said everything's fine, but I'm just not getting my feet in. Yep. And mash it. Yep. I agree with that. Okay. What are you learning? To make little moves, not try to make real big moves. The Robo Bulls, yeah, gave me a lot of help. I mean, it kills my legs, but I mean, it helps you with a lot of your basics. Robo, we got this new bull that, that's really, really doing outstanding things for the kids. You know, it's not like a bucking machine. It, it really, it's got a forward motion like a, like a real bull would. Robo bulls are not like a mechanical bull or anything like that. They're, they're a lot different. They feel like the real deal. You're gonna be smiling. And it's our job to encourage and uh, boost their confidence level to, to get them to the point where, where they're not scared anymore. There you go. Lots of try, don't quit. So far, a bunch of nice kids, and, and I think they're all pretty ecstatic to be here and, and gonna learn a lot. I think they, they uh, you know, when you get the right kids that 
really put their mind into it, they can take a lot home from a deal like this. And I think I think that's going to be the situation here. We're, we're, honestly, we're here for the kids. We've both got family.